so in this lecture we are going to study about newton's gregory formula for forward interpolation so let me first take one small problems related to the basics of this so construct a forward difference table for the following data so that problem is x is there and y is fx so these are the two things that we are going to take here so your x let me write is 0 5 10 15 20 and 25 corresponding to that x i will write y i will write uh, 6 10 13 17 23 and 31 okay so let us write the forward difference table now, now how do you write the forward difference table we first write this table vertically so let me write here x let me write here fx which is y so the, what are the values of x 0 5 10 15 20 and 25 okay i am leaving one one line here okay for my table to look good so what is fx here corresponding fx is 6 then it is 10 it is 13 see i am copying that above table okay 6 10 13 17 23 and 31 okay now in the next column this is the first column this is the second column the next column i will write delta fx this is forward difference delta fx what is delta fx the previous lecture i have taught you how to write delta fx so you would do 10 minus 6 which is 4 so i will write here in the middle line okay then 13 minus 3 is 13 minus 10 is 3 so similarly here in the next one is 17 minus 13 is 4 and i will continue this okay 23 minus 17 is 6 and 31 minus 23 is 8 okay now in the next column i will write the second order forward difference which is delta square fx this is denoted by delta square what do you mean by this again the same thing 3 minus 4 which is what is 3 minus 4 it is minus 1 then 4 minus 3 which is 1 then 6 minus 4 is 2 and 8 minus 6 is 2 right so this is delta square fx then let me calculate delta cube fx so uh, how many uh, how, how much more we are supposed to do until we get one single person we will do this okay so what is delta cube same thing 1 minus of minus 1 what is 1 minus minus 1 1 minus minus 1 is 1 plus 1 which is 2 so I will write it 2 the lower number minus the upper number okay I will write here in the middle of them then next is 2 minus 1 is 1 2 minus 2 is 0 again we have three people here so we will go for the next forward difference which is Delta raised to 4 fx delta is to 4fx what is delta is to 4fx again the same idea lower number minus the upper number 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 is how much minus 1 so i will write a minus 1 in the middle of them next is 0 minus 1 what is 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 is also minus 1 so we'll get this and what is the now last which is delta is to 5 fx 
we have only two people minus one minus minus one what is minus one minus one minus one minus one plus one what is minus one plus one it is zero so the last person here comes to be zero now there is only a single person left so we have to stop with the forward difference table this table is called as forward difference table okay this minus this to be written here this minus this to be written here and this this process will continue this process will go on continuing it's very easy you just have to do subtractions and write the answers this is the way you are supposed to do okay now in this table we will now give names to some people okay some important names are to be given to this people so let me write the names of those people so this person if i am calling suppose i am calling this first person is let me give me one second okay i want to use a correct notation here so suppose i am calling the first person is a who is the first person this person this person is a please copy this if you are writing in a notebook this is a then the next person this this person i am going to call f of a okay i will write it it with different ink so that it will be more clear to you so and you and it will be easy for you to remember also so let me write it with red ink so this is a this is f of a right the next person in the next column the first person in the next column okay that first person in the next column means this i'm going to call delta fa because it is coming from the column delta right so this is i'm going to call delta this is delta fa who is this person this person is delta square f of a this next person is delta cube f of a this is delta raised to 4 f of a and last is delta raised to 5 f of a okay these are the values so the people in the first position are very important for us okay so this data is very important for us to solve a problem using which method which method are we going to learn in this lecture we are going to learn newton's gregory forward interpolation formula okay so this first line is very important for the forward difference right so let me write it here so from so if a is the first person which is zero okay f of a means f of zero how much is a a is zero how much is the answer of f of a six what is delta f of a delta f of a means delta f of how much is a is zero so delta f of zero is how much from the table four what is delta square f of a delta square f of a from the table is minus one what is delta cube f of a delta cube f of a is two what is delta raised to four f of a delta raised to four f of a is minus one and delta raised to five f of a delta is to 5 of a is how much zero okay so this data is very important for us second from this table we want also want to learn what is h equal to what is h let me write here what is h so here you see that in the values of x you see there is a difference of how much look at the values of x carefully 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 what is the gap 
how much is the gap between them is the gap same is the gap same for all the values yes everywhere the gap is 5 so this gap must be there and that gap should be same everywhere that the gap is called as h okay so it is called increment so what is h equal to here h is equal to 5 okay how did we get this 5 difference between 0 and 5 or 5 and 10 and so on till what till 20 and 25 this is the difference between these number it should be same for all for this type of problems for newton's gregory formula for forward interpolation okay so if suppose you are interested in solving a problem by using this particular formula what is the first thing that you should check that in the given question this is the given question okay suppose i want to solve something related to newton's forward formula i will first check is the gap same 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 yes the gap is everywhere the gap is same how much is that gap that gap is a gap of 5 if that is same then i can use this particular newton's gregory formula for forward interpolation if the gap is not same okay if the gap is not same suppose the question would have been like this 0 5 7 10 15 then the gap is here is 5 but the gap here is 2 here the gap is 5 here the gap is 3 here the width h is here it is 5 so it, in this case this problem cannot be solved by using what by using the newton's forward interpolation formula this problem is solved by some different method which we will learn in the coming lectures okay now we will write down the formula for newton interpolation okay uh, so here uh, i hope this h is clear to all of you and how to write these differences is also clear to all of you okay now let us write the actual formula so let me write the formula here newton gregory forward interpolation formula So we will write down the formula first okay and when i'm going for the problem that time i will explain you what is the meaning of this entire thing why we are using this formula what is the need of this how are we going to use it so let me write p and x copy as it is p and x is equal to f of a plus u delta f of a plus u into u minus 1 upon 2 factorial delta square f of a i'm going to explain every term in this formula so don't worry plus u into u minus 1 u minus 2 upon 3 factorial delta cube f of a plus and this will go on continuing now can we guess the next term the next term will be u into u minus 1 
u minus 2 u minus 3 so I, every time i am increasing one term upon what instead of 3 factorial now i will write 4 factorial whatever this factorial means i will tell you what is the meaning of factorial if you don't know and delta raised to 3 will become delta raised to 4 f of a plus dot 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 this will be continued okay this is the formula of newton's gregory forward interpolation okay now this looks very difficult actually but when i solve problems then you will understand that it is actually very easy to handle this type of formula okay where let us write what is u where u is equal to x minus a upon h this you will be fixed for our problems okay now let us take one problem related to this so that you will now understand it is very easy actually so let me take a question for the given data find f of f bracket 45 means f of 45 copy the data the data is x y which is f of x Which is 40 50 60 70 80 here the numbers are 31 y is 31 73 124 159 and 190 using forward difference formula okay first thing that should come in my mind is that can i use forward difference formula the answer is yes because what is the thing i told you check the difference 40 to 50 10 ka difference 50 to 60 has 10 difference 60 to 70 has difference of 10 70 80 has a difference of 10 so in this problem my value of h is how much 10 so answer here h is 10 how did that came difference between 40 to 50 and so on if the difference is not same i cannot use forward difference formula we have to use a different method for that okay remember i'm telling you again this data now i will write vertically x fx which is 40 50 60 70 80 i'm leaving one line so that i won't be confused when i'm doing my problems what is f of x given to be i'm copying those numbers 31 73 124 159 190 so this is the table done vertically next column i told told you was delta f of x i'm calculating the forward difference table okay which is 73 minus 31 which is 42 
124 minus 73 is 51. 159 minus 124 is 35. And 190 minus 159 is 31. You can use a calculator in exam. So don't worry about the subtraction. It won't take you a long time. The next column is delta square fx. Next is 51 minus 42 is 9. But 31 minus 35 minus 51 will give me negative answer, which is minus 16. 31 minus 35 will give me how much? Minus 4. Negative. I go. Still, I am not supposed to stop. I am supposed to stop when I get a single entry here. Delta cube fx is minus 16 minus 9. Minus 16 minus 9 is minus 25. So, I will write here minus 25. Then the next is minus 4 minus of minus 16. Minus 4 minus of minus 16 means what? Minus 4 plus 16. The lower number minus the, see this is the lower number, minus the upper number. Okay, here there is always minus. So what is minus 4 plus 16? It is 12. It is only 12. And what are the last quantities? Still if I do continue this table. Delta is to 4fx is 12 minus minus 25. 12 minus minus 25 means 12 plus 25, which is how much? 37. So now I have to stop by doing the table. The table, the next row will not come. Okay. Now, as I told you in the above observations, that this first person is called a this is f of a this is delta f of a this is delta square f of a this is delta cube f of a and it is delta raised to 4 f of a you know i told you that this first line of all the columns is very important for us right what is h remember what is h h is 10. now let us go to the question what is the question asking us the question is asking me to find f of 45 so let me write here to find after doing this table i will write what i want to find now to find f of 45 this is my question okay we will first find what is f of 25 and then i will tell you the meaning of all this so here x is 45 this person that we are required to ask that inside person number i will going to call that variable that number x is 45 therefore what is the formula for u that i told you about u was what u was x minus a upon h okay i had told you in the above formula of newton gregory when i was writing that what was u equal to u was x minus a upon h so what is u in our problem how much is x how much is x? x is 45 minus. How much is a? What is a? What is a equal to in this problem? In this problem, a is equal to 40 upon. What is h equal to? h is how much? h is 10. Correct. That also we have written above that h is 10. So this comes to be 5 upon 10 which is in calculator if I do this will be 0 0.5 so u is equal to 0 0.5 now let us write the formula 
so it is very easy so i will repeat it in a minute once you are given the table of this you will first check whether h is correct is are the differences equal so that i can use difference formula immediately after that i will start preparing this table this table preparation is also very easy then whatever is asked to me what value is asked to me that value from that from there i will get the value of x after that i will calculate u and then i will write the formula now what is the formula the formula is this formula you once you write two three times if you write the formula you will memorize so p and x is equal to f of a plus what do you have then next is u times delta f of a plus u into u minus 1 upon 2 factorial delta square f of a plus u into u minus 1 into u minus 2 upon 3 factorial delta cube f of a do i need to write the next term do i really need to write that go ahead look in the table you need up to delta raised to 4 isn't it so it will be plus u into u minus 1 into u minus 2 into u minus 3 upon this is 3 factorial huh? sorry upon 4 factorial delta raised to 4 f of a so this is a, I, i have to stop here i will not continue this because in my table i can see maximum is only up to delta raised to 4 if the table had delta raised to 5 then i would have added one more term okay so you have to stop now i will go and take the help of the table pn pn x what is x x is how much look in the problem x is how much x is 45 just put the values now okay is equal to f of a where is f of a in the table do we have the table ready with us yes f of a f of a is how much 31 so this is 31 plus u what is u u is how much u is 0.5 multiplied by here there is multiplication sign okay if there is nothing between them means there is a multiplication sign into delta f of a what is delta f of a table table says delta f of a is how much 42 so all right 0.5 multiplied by 42 plus next let us write this u into u minus 1 what is u u is 0.5 into 0.5 bracket me minus 1 upon 2 factorial what is the meaning of 2 factorial 2 factorial means 2 into 1 what is 3 factorial multiply all the numbers which are less than 3 and equal to 3 3 into 2 into 1 what is 4 factorial 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this is the way you write the factorial okay so what is 5 factorial 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right this is the way you write factorial multiplied by delta square f of a what is delta square f of a table table says that delta square f of a is how much is 9 so then i will multiply this by 9 plus next term i am writing this now so you just have to substitute the values in this formula what is u 0.5 multiplied by 0.5 minus 1 multiplied by 0.5 minus 2 upon 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 which is actually 6 multiplied by delta cube 
f of a what is delta cube f of a from the table delta cube f of a from the table is how much minus 25 let me write here multiplied by minus 25 plus last thing is 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 minus 1 into 0 0.5 minus 2 u minus 1 u minus 2 u minus 3 this is what i'm writing okay into 0 0.5 minus 3 upon 4 factorial what is the meaning of 4 factorial 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 do you, do you see orally what is this multiplication 4 3 is a 12 and 12 2 is a 24 so the denominator here is 24 multiplied by delta raised to 4 what is delta raised to 4 from the table from the table my delta raised to 4 was how much 37 do you see this 37 so that i have to multiply here okay now equal to 31 plus 0 0.5 into 42 0 0.5 into 42 is 21 this part okay plus let us do this part now so that part let's look at it carefully what is it actually equal to so let me do it smartly this is 0 0.5 is as it is 0 0.5 minus 1 what is 0 0.5 minus 1 it is minus 0 0.5 okay so this bracket person is what minus 0 0.5 remember it is 0 0.5 into minus of 0 0.5 into 9 upon 2 facts so this minus sign is once over there so if minus sign once is there so it will remain so it will be minus of whatever the answer is so let us multiply 0 0.5 0 0.59 and divide by 2 so when you actually multiply 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 9 and that is equal to this and then i will divide it by 2 so it is 1.125 so i will write 1.125 with the minus sign because there is once there is a minus sign okay so here this plus will get replaced by minus of what 1.125 okay so I've let me show you this this also because if I look at this calculation carefully this is 0 0.5 this is 0 0.5 as it is multiplied by 0 0.5 minus 1 we just now calculated what is 0 0.5 minus 1 it is minus 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 minus 2 so what is 0 0.5 minus 2 it is minus 1.5 so this is minus 1.5 upon what upon 6 because 3 to the 6 multiplied by minus 25 minus 25 is also there right so minus and minus this minus and this minus will go away so that will become plus but this minus will remain so whatever answer i will get i will write minus to that finally so which numbers am i going to multiply in my calculator now i'm going to multiply 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 1.5 multiplied by 25 okay i have multiplied by 25 because minus n i have already kept outside divided by this everything will be divided by what 6 which is 1.5625 1.5625 with the minus n because this 25 had a minus sign so it will minus 1.5625 i hope you people are understanding okay is 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 multiplied by minus 0 0.5 which is 
so I'm writing 0 0.5 1.5 into 0 0.5 minus 3 is 0.25 so 2.5 2.5 divide multiplied by 37 okay divided by 4 into 3 into 2 is 24 okay which is 1.4453 okay so here you have a negative minus sign here here also you'll have a minus sign here also you have a minus sign so two minus signs will go away and you remain with one minus sign so how much it was 1.4453 so this last i have done directly okay minus 1.4453 i hope you have understood the things how to do and just check this comes to be 1.4453 okay now i will go in my calculator and do this calculation now it is very easy so this is equal to 31 plus 21 okay minus this 21 was correct now this 21 when the second step was this was also minus 20 sorry this is minus 21 because this is minus sign right no 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 sorry this is third sir sorry it's correct it's correct so 31 plus uh, 31 plus 21 equal to 52 minus 1.125 equal to minus 1.5625 and again minus 1.4453 this is how much this comes to be 47.86 okay 47.87 six who is this person this is pn of 45 so this becomes your final answer okay okay so the second problem that we are going to do on newton's forward difference formula is as follows so i will be given i am given a data over here where x is varying from one to two and x is increasing in the fashion 1 to 1.2 1.2 to 1.4 and so on so this way the value of x is increasing and uh, is that increasing value constant so yes you see that what is h here here h is the difference between 1 and 1.2 what is the difference between 1 and 1.2 means it is 1.2 minus 1 which is 0 0.2 so the value of h in this problem is what 0 0.2 you see everywhere 0 0.2 is added see everywhere the 0 0.2 value is added so i can use here newton's forward difference formula okay i have told you in the earlier uh, problem also in the earlier session also that if this difference is different if this is not increasing in the same rate then you have to use something called as lagrange interpolation formula which will be a part of our next lecture okay now let us prepare the table for required for this so the table required for this is i'm going to copy the same data vertically so i'm going up now so the value of x i will write here the value of y i will write here y means f of x okay so value of x is 1 then 1 1.2 1.4 1.6 1.8 and 2 the corresponding values of y or fx were 0 then next was minus 0 0.112 then minus 0 0.016 then you had 0 0.336 then 0 0.992 and last was 2 okay now we will calculate what is delta f okay so what is delta the first difference so now i will be using calculator here so it is this minus this means minus 0 0.112 minus 0 which is same as minus 0 0.112 itself so i will write here minus 0 0.112 the next difference is minus 0 0.016 plus not plus minus 
of minus 0.112 what is this this is nothing but minus 0.016 plus 0.112 so what is that equal to it is i will first write 0.112 because it is having plus sign i will first write 0.112 because it has a plus sign and then i will subtract 0.016 so that will become 0.096 so it is 0.096 the next calculation is 0.336 minus minus of 0.016 so this minus and minus will become plus so it is 0.336 plus 0.016 so how much is that coming to be it is 0.336 plus 0.016 and that is equal to 0.352 so let us write in the table 0.352 next is 0.992 minus 0.336 so 0 0.992 minus 0.336 so that is 0.656 so it had no problem so i directly did the subtraction then last is 2 minus 0.992 so it is 2 minus 0.992 uh, which is coming to be 1.008 so this subtraction is 1.008 Eight. okay so i don't need these arrows now i've done the subtraction i don't need this rough calculation also so i will erase that now let us move to the next column which is called as delta square f the second forward dif forward difference so next is now again i have to do this minus this so 0 0.096 minus minus of 0.112 so this minus and minus will become what this minus and minus will become plus so it is 0 0.096 plus 0 0.112 and that is 0 0.208 so i will write it here 0 0.208 the next is direct subtraction because there is no negative sign now so 0 0.352 minus 0 0.0 0 0.096 it is 0 0.256 0 0.256 next is this subtraction 656 minus 352 so 0 0.656 minus 0 0.352 is 0 0.304 and the last subtraction is 1.008 minus 0 0.304 and that is how much 0 0.7 sorry 0 0.656 i'm supposed to subtract so 1.008 minus 0 0.656 and that comes out to be 0 0.35 0.352 the next column is you remember you have to stop when you either get a zero or you finish with the same entries okay so delta cube f i'm going to do again the same type of subtraction so this minus this which is 0 0.256 minus 0 0.208 which is 0 .00, 0 0.048 0 0.048 then the next is 0 0.304 minus 0 0.256 which is again 0 0.048 it's a good sign because when i do this subtraction then this will become zero okay now when i go for this one 0 0.352 minus 0 0.304 so that subtraction is again 0 0.048 so it is again a good sign so that again this subtraction will become zero and therefore the next subtraction will also become zero so delta rest to four column is this and this is delta rest to five f okay so this 
table is now complete right and now we know that once this table is complete what is important for us is this set of values are actually very important for us so i'm just writing i'm just making them a red circle so i really need these people okay so why these people are important these people are important because this will give me the value of a this will give me the value of f of a this is the value of delta f of a this is delta square f of a this is delta cube f of a and delta raised to 4 and delta raised to 5 i don't need because they are anyways what they are zero so when i put them in the formula they will not have any problem over there okay so i whenever it is zero i, I will not use it because delta raised to 4 is of f of a is how much zero and delta raised to 5 of f of a is also equal to zero so they will be not used in the formula at all okay now let us try to write the formula of Newton's forward interpolation form. So, by Newton's Gregory forward difference forward interpolation formula. Okay. What is the formula? The formula says that P n of x is equal to First is f of a plus u delta f of a plus u into u minus 1 upon 2 factorial delta square f of a plus u into u minus 1 into u minus 2 upon 3 terms so divide by 3 factorial delta cube f of a okay and I will stop at so I will stop here. Why I will stop here? Because if I write the next term, that will involve delta raised to 4. And delta raised to 4 is how much? 0. So these these are not required. So we will need only these, these four entries for writing in the formula. Now in this formula, what is u equal to? So u, here u, we know u is equal to x minus a upon h. Right. Now what is x, what is a and what is h? So let us go in the table. You see that a is 1 as I told you. Okay, what is x? h is 0 0.2 which, are, which we are going to need. And what is x? x is the thing which is asked in the question. See x is 1.45. So these three values x is 1.45, h is 0 0.2 and a is equal to one so i will use these three values and find the value of u so i can now find what is u equal to u is equal to x is 1.45 minus a is 1 and how much is h h was 0 0.2 so when i put this in my calculator i will get 1.45 minus 1 will be 0.45 and divided by 0 0.2 when I divide it by 0 0.2 I'm going to get 2.25 so u is how much u is 2.25 so u we are going to use as 2.25 in the above formula now so this means that pn of x is equal to now put all the values that you know f of a what is f of a go to the table where what is f of a from table f of a is equal to how much zero you see here it is zero so i'm going to put that in the table so it is zero plus then u how much is u u is 2.25 multiplied by this is please keep the brackets don't mix up the terms so there are four additions four terms in the addition you have to do okay so 2.25 multiplied by this is u what is delta f of a from the table if you go for the table delta f of a is how much minus 0 0.112 so i will write that in the place here minus 0 0.112 okay next term plus the next term is this okay now u into u minus 1 u is how much u is 2.25 okay 
multiplied by u minus 1 u minus 1 means 2.25 minus 1 2.25 minus 1 is 1.25 right because i'm subtracting 1 divided by 2 factorial this 2 factorial means what 2 factorial means 2 into 1 what is 2 into 1 2 into 1 is 2 multiplied by delta square f of a let us go to the table and see what is delta square f of a delta square f of a is 0 0.208 so that i will write here multiplied by 0 0.208 this is the third term now we are going for the last fourth bracket so plus fourth bracket u into u minus 1 into u minus 2 u is how much u is 2.25 if i subtract 2.25 minus if i do the subtraction if i remove one from that it will become 1.25 if you remove two from that it will become 0 0.25 okay 2.25 minus 2 2.25 minus 2 is 0 0.25 upon how much upon three factorial what is three factorial three factorial means three into two into one what is three into two into one three into two into one is six multiplied by delta cube f of a what is delta cube f of a from the picture from the table where is the table the table is here so delta cube f of came up to be 0 0.048 so it is so let me substitute here back in the table here 0 0.048 okay so this is equal to okay the zero is added so there is no problem now i will go in my calculator and multiply 2.25 and 0 0.112 and put a minus sign to that because there is a negative sign over here okay so when i open the calculator i'm going to get what 2.25 multiplied by 0.112 is equal to 0.252 and it will have a minus sign so minus 0.252 plus so this is the answer of the first bracket now we'll look at the second bracket what is the answer of the second bracket in the calculator i will go and multiply 2.25 i will multiply 1.25 i will multiply by 208 and then i will divide everything by what i will divide everything by 2 so when i use uh, the cal calculator i will get 2.25 multiplied by 1.25 multiplied by 0 0.208 and that is 0 0.585 and that will be divided by what that everything will be divided by 2 so it is equal to 0 0.2925 so second bracket is 0 0.2925 third bracket what is the answer of the third bracket it is 2.25 into 1.25 into 0 0.25 then you multiply also it by 0 0.048 and you can divide everything by 6 because then as it is 6 is in the denominator okay so when i use that i'm going to get what i'm going to get 2.25 multiplied by 1.25 multiplied by 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.048 and that entire multiplication i'm going to divide by how much i'm going to divide it by 6 so when i divide it by 6 i'm going to get 0 0.005625 so let us write that in the tape, uh, calculation 0 0.005625 two five okay now here there is a minus sign so here there is a negative sign so let us add these two people first when i add these two people first what is the addition of this 0 0.2925 plus 0 0.005625 so the addition is 0 0.298125 and then i will subtract this number who is that number minus 0. 252 okay so it is how much 0 0.046125 okay so this will become 0 0.046125 so this is the final expected answer that we were looking for okay the answer okay so now we will see problems on finding the missing entries so look at this data your x x is varying from 1 to 6 x is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and y is 8 12 19 
2942 and that last entry is missing so this is the missing entry that we are uh, needing uh, that we want to actually find so i will write the table first vertically so that i can do something so if i write the answer i will write x and y and columns uh, x values are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the values of y are 8 12 19 20 9 40 2 and the last entry was missing okay let me just confirm if i have written correctly yes 8 12 19 20 9 and 42 okay now this missing entry we want to find so that missing entry i really don't know what is it so what i will say is that missing entry is suppose k so my final target will be what what is value of k now i will calculate the first difference which is delta y so delta y will be 12 minus a which is 4 19 minus 12 which is 7 29 minus 19 which is 10 then 42 minus 29 is uh, 13 and this k minus 42 so i don't know what is this so i will write k minus 42 here as it is let me go to delta square y what is delta square y again the same subtraction 7 minus 4 is 3 10 minus 7 is also 3 13 minus 10 is also 3 and this what is this what should i write here so it is k minus 42 minus 13 okay what is k minus so if i open the brackets it will become k minus 42 minus 13 which will become k minus how much minus 42 and minus 13 will become minus 55 so here i will write k minus 55 so now if you look at these 3 3 and 3 you now have guessed that the last column has to be equal so that everything here will become what everything in the next column will automatically has to become 0 3 minus 3 and this is also 3 minus 3 and this is what is this entry it is k minus 55 k minus 55 minus 3 what is k minus 55 minus 3 if i open the brackets it is k minus 55 minus 3 minus 55 and minus 3 will become minus 58 so this is k minus 58 so what do you guess now what is k minus 58 equal to in this last column in this fourth column okay all the entries are zero this is zero this is zero so this also has to be how much this also must be zero hence from about table by about table what we observe that k minus 58 has to be equal to how much has to be equal to zero because last column all the entries are zero so this person also must be zero and therefore what is this minus 58 will go on that side and this will become k is equal to 0 plus 58 and therefore my value of k will be how much my value of k which was missing entry that missing entry is how much that missing entry is 58 so when i go in the table and i look at the table carefully i observe that here 58 is expected okay this was our question mark so here 58 was expected okay okay so now let us start the next problem for finding the missing entries so your x is 0 1 2 3 4 and y values are 1 3 9 9 missing entry and 81 so we know that we will always prepare a forward difference table so the values of x and y are as follows 0 1 2 3 4 and values of y are 1 3 9 then here i have a missing entry and then i have 81 so this missing entry i don't know so that missing entry i am going to call k because i don't know what is that so what is delta y first difference so it is 3 minus 1 is 2 9 minus 3 is 6 this is k minus 9 and this is what this is 81 minus k okay so this is very clear 
so this was not a problem let us see what is delta square y what is delta square y it, for delta square y i will do 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 is 4 next is this what is this this is k minus 9 minus 6 which is k minus 9 minus 6 which is what is minus 9 minus 6 minus 9 minus 6 is minus 15 so the second thing will be k minus 15 okay let me move to the next one now this is a little bit difficult thing for us so what is that 81 minus k minus bracket k minus 9 okay now you know that when you open a bracket and you have a minus sign outside the bracket all the signs will inside this will change negative will become positive and positive will become negative so let me write down this as it is so this is 81 minus k then what will this become this will become minus k minus k and this minus and minus will become a plus so minus and minus will become a plus 9 okay now how will i simplify this if you see simply your 81 and 9 you can add 81 and 9 what is 81 and 9 addition it is 90 right so the work of these two people is over what is minus k minus k minus k minus k is nothing but what minus how many times k you are getting two times so minus 2k so this is this two people will give you how much minus 2k if it is minus k minus k minus k what is that equal to that it becomes minus 3k and so on okay so this is the way you get this subtraction of these two people is how much 90 minus 2k okay now now let us go to the fourth column which is, uh, that is sorry delta cube y sorry delta cube y what is delta cube y so again this minus this let me do the rough work so it is k minus 15 minus 4 it is k minus 15 minus 4 minus 15 and minus 4 will become minus 19 so i will get k minus 19 k minus 19 what is this subtraction now this work also we have to do very carefully okay so let me do it in rough work here which two people am i supposed to subtract 90 minus 2k minus what is this person k minus 15 okay now how will i do this subtraction open the brackets and open the bracket of the first person nothing will happen here minus minus k and this minus and minus will become plus 15 and same trick now what is 90 and 15 if you add 90 with 15 you will get you will get 105 so this is 105 so the work of these two people is over now what is minus 2k minus 1k minus 2k mi minus k means minus 1k what is minus 2k minus 1k minus 2k minus 1k will be minus 3k so this will become 105 minus 3k so these two people are giving you what minus 3k so i will write this here 105 minus 3k 105 minus 3k okay so this is how i get this particular entry now what is the last column delta raised to 4 y delta raised to 4 y this delta raised to 4 y is this minus this what is that equal to 105 minus 3k minus k minus 19 okay which is 105 minus 3k now what will happen again minus k minus and minus will become 
plus 19. So what will, how will I simplify this calculation? First, I will add 105 and 19. What is 105 plus 19? It is equal to 124. 124. So the work of these two people is over. Now what is minus 3k? Minus 1k. Minus 1k means k. Minus 3k minus 1k is, is how much? Minus 4k. So here I will write minus 4k. So this I will write over here. 124 minus 4k. Okay. So the table now is complete. Now you cannot move ahead. And we know that this last column, this last entry, this must be how much? This must be always 0. So I'm going to put that equal to 0. As seen in the previous problem also, we did the same thing. Last entry was basically what? It was equal to 0. So when I put this equal to 0, now I'm erasing the rough calculations. Okay. So what is the last entry? The last entry is 124 minus 4k. So 124 minus 4k is equal to how much? 0. So this means that 124, this minus 4k will go on that side and add. So it will be 0 plus 4k. What is 0 plus 4k? 0 plus 4k is 4k. This is 124. Now this 4 will go and divide on that side. So 124 divided by 4 because it is multiplied here. So when I send it on the other side, it will go and divide. It will become k. So what is 124 divided by 4? Can do this orally still i'm using the calculator so i'm getting this is division is 31 31 is equal to k so i got the value of k is how much k is 31 